This is the Lockpicking Lawyer, and I just received a letter from the president of Masterlock issuing me a challenge. At least, the letter says it's from him. I think it's pretty clearly a joke from one of you, and a good enough joke that I'm going to read it. Dear Lockpicking Lawyer, here in the executive suite of Masterlock's World Headquarters, we have watched your videos with both professional interest and embarrassment. Your publication of the flaws found in common master locks has been devastating to the morale of our employees. That changes today. Over a year ago, I tasked our finest engineers with designing a lock that would be equal to your skill. I gave the project a generous budget and told the team to think outside the box. Rather than taking the traditional path of producing a lock that is actually pick resistant, our designers took the opportunity to cement Masterlock's reputation as an industry innovator. They concluded that anyone who's spent as much time as you developing picking skills probably has also developed terrible vision in the process. As you often say, security is only as good as its weakest link, and we took advantage of your weak link by adding a camouflage coating to one of our padlocks. This coating will ensure that you can't find the lock and as a consequence, can't pick it. You may have missed it due to the high concealment factor, but I included a sample of the new lock with this letter. Good luck finding it. We await your conclusions on this industry-leading innovation. Well, it took a while for my seeing eye dog to find it, but we did locate the cleverly disguised lock and put a piece of pink tape on it so we don't lose it in the future. Now, let's see what it takes to pick this open. I'm going to be using a 32 thousandths thick turner in the bottom of the keyway and a wave rake. These are both part of the Genesis set that I sell over on covertinstruments.com. Just a little bit of jiggling and we pop that open. Let's do it one more time just to make sure it was not a fluke. And we got it open just as quickly the second time. Okay, folks, I hate to further damage employee morale at Masterlock, but there are no surprises here. With just four pins and no security pins, the low-skill raking attack opened it very quickly. In any case, that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. And as for the Master Lock Impersonator with a postmark from Chino, California, thanks for the laughs.